it's a genuinely historic day. The Shiba Inu development team has pulled off an incredibly unexpected move that stunned the entire community just one month before the Bitcoin halving event. Any second now, we could reach a new all-time high, but what precisely happened and how is it even possible? Alright, let's solve the puzzle together. Disclaimer, the advancements of today are fascinating even in the middle of the wild ride that is the Bitcoin market. U.S. Bitcoin ETFs are currently experiencing their third day of declines in a row. However, Bitcoin continues to show signs of strength despite the current trend. It really increased by a whopping 11% today, while Shiba Inu did the same, rising by an astounding 10%. However, the context of this news is what really draws attention to it. Recently, the introduction of Bitcoin ETFs set off a massive purchasing frenzy that flooded the cryptocurrency market with hundreds of millions of dollars every day. Recall that this spike in demand was a major factor in driving the price of Bitcoin to a new peak that above $70,000. As is frequently the case, other altcoins, such as Shiba Inu, rode the bullish wave and saw an incredible 200% increase just two weeks ago. Shiba Inus are particularly sensitive to Bitcoin's every move, which highlights the two breed symbiotic relationship with the cryptocurrency king. In spite of this story of bullish momentum, there has been a persistent pattern of withdrawals from Bitcoin ETFs, which has put negative pressure on the cryptocurrency market as a whole. Over the past several days, these outflows have reached previously unheard of proportions, alarming investors. But in the middle of the recent price declines, a fascinating thing happened in the Shiba Inu ecosystem. By investing more than 300 billion Shiba Inu tokens at the present token price, one of the Shiba Inu whales took a risky decision. Over $8.6 million has been spent on this deal. Furthermore, despite a prolonged period of decline, the cryptocurrency market surprised everyone today. The Bitcoin ETF saw notable withdrawals once more but the cryptocurrency market rebounded anyway. You may now wonder, though, why the cryptocurrency market surged even if the Bitcoin ETF saw a significant withdrawal. That's a valid question, though. The development of rumors regarding the possible approval of an Ethereum spot ETF in May 2024 is one of the many reasons. Rumors have been going about since several filings are being changed, which is similar to what happened with the Bitcoin ETF before to its acceptance and it makes for quite easy logic. Think about the substantial buying pressure that the Bitcoin ETF alone has provided during the last two months. Now imagine the possible inflow of extra buying pressure that an Ethereum ETF debut could bring about. Investors and industry players find this scenario exciting since it implies a significant financial infusion into the cryptocurrency space, which would further accelerate its upward trajectory. However, a stunning turn of events caught the market off guard just as hope for an Ethereum spot ETF was starting to build. Unexpectedly, the SEC has sent many subpoenas to businesses trying to classify Ethereum as a securities. The SEC's inquiry of the Ethereum Foundation may lead to Ethereum being categorized as a security, according to a March 20 fortune story. The foundation's hint that it was looking into it fueled more speculation. Later, the SEC issued subpoenas to a number of U.S.-based businesses, requiring them to produce financial records and other documentation related to their interactions with the Ethereum Foundation. Crypto aficionados are concerned about this development, since many believe the SEC is trying to destroy Ethereum with its activities. The much-anticipated Ethereum ETF may encounter difficulties if Ethereum is formally categorized as a securities, which may potentially compromise its acceptance. The SEC's effort to categorize Ethereum seems to be gathering steam, especially in the wake of the blockchain's 2022 switch from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake. Ethereum's future trajectory is made more unknown by this regulatory examination, which also raises doubts about the likelihood that an Ethereum ETF will be approved by regulators. However, this is only the start. With prominent politicians weighing in on the issue, this development adds even more fascination to the crypto world. The regulatory environment gets even more hazy. The ramifications of this letter may influence the course taken by other cryptocurrencies vying for approval as ETFs in addition to Bitcoin. But wait a minute. 
Unexpectedly, BlackRock, a significant player in the financial industry, tokenized their BlackRock USD Institutional Digital Liquidity Fund into 100 shares on an Ethereum contract, as was disclosed just yesterday. This revelation, nevertheless, draws criticism and skepticism. It just doesn't compute. Given its wealth and experience, why would BlackRock pursue projects utilizing the Ethereum blockchain if there were significant doubts regarding its legality? Because of this confusing circumstance, some people in the cryptocurrency world have conjectured that BlackRock might have insider knowledge indicating that Ethereum won't likely be categorized as a security. Otherwise, it would seem contradictory for them to keep working on Ethereum initiatives. And here's what you should know, in the realm of cryptocurrencies, this is a scenario that has become all too familiar, certain entities are spreading fear, uncertainty, and doubt, FUD, in an attempt to influence market behavior. Spreading fear and anxiety, FUD, frequently results in panic selling as investors respond to the unfavorable perception. What's remarkable, though, is how the true industry heavyweights react in various ways. These large players are usually unaffected by the FUD, even though the general public may give in to it and rush to liquidate their holdings. They are able to cut through the clutter and identify false information as what it is. Unfounded rumors spread to discredit vulnerable people. These major players have consistently surfaced on the right side of the trade. They stand out from the crowd because of their capacity to maintain composure in the face of adversity and make wise judgments based on sound principles. These players stick with it because they are confident in their long term outlook for the market, unlike others who panic and sell at the first sign of problems. Still, more information on this issue won't become apparent until later. Should an Ethereum ETF receive approval in the near future, it might set off a fresh round of buying pressure that might propel the whole cryptocurrency market, including Shiba Inu, to new heights. Up until then, all we can do is observe and wait to see how things turn out in the always changing world of legislation and cryptocurrencies. Now let's set aside our feelings and look at some shocking numbers. There's a tweet that sums up the state of the market rather nicely. Days after breaking old all-time highs, currently 13 days to bull market peak after breaking old all-time highs, between 266 to 315 days. According to this tweet, the bull market may still be 300 days away from reaching its true zenith after breaking above earlier all-time highs. It is a sobering reminder that although setting new records is thrilling, it may take several months for a bull market to reach its full potential. Not to be overlooked is the official Shiba Inu team, who thought that before the approaching Bitcoin halving event, which is in less than 30 days, Shiba Inu might achieve its all time high. We can see that we are headed for a roller coaster when we compare this to the tweet's projected 300 days of bullish momentum. It is now evident that the journey ahead holds great promise as we make our way through the crypto market's intricacies, with Shiba Inu and other currencies set to have a big impact on how it develops. However, what are your thoughts about that? I look forward to reading your thoughts in the comments section below. Make sure to click on one of the videos displayed on the screen if you're interested in learning more. We have now reached the conclusion of this video. Please remember to like the video and leave a comment in the space provided if you liked it. This is a huge assistance for the YouTube algorithm. Please spread the word about this video to as many people as you can. Let us disseminate this news.